The vile town of Middleborough. The town of Middleborough has been making history for millenniums. In recent times, however, it has become a town to avoid for anyone considering relocating to or within England. Yeah, sure, smoggies, as people from Middleborough are called, will go to any length to refute that assertion. The staunch supporters of the town can come up with what they consider evidence in support of their position. Nevertheless, we stay by nothing but the truth here on this channel. Anyone desirous of having his ears tingled with what he would love to hear is not likely to have it great here. So, in this video, we shall give you facts from credible sources proving that Middleborough is indeed a vile town. Middleborough in brief. We would love to carry everyone along regardless of biases. Now, for anyone not quite familiar with Middleborough, let's tell you a bit about the town. And regardless of what you knew about the town that was once thriving in coal, steelwork and shipbuilding, this brief history would be a cute reminder. It's a town in North Yorkshire, England, governed by a unitary authority borough also known as Middleborough. It's part of the devolved Tees Valley area. Located on the Tees River's southern bank, it's near the North York Moors National Park. As of the 2022 census, the town has a population of 143,900. Until the early 19th century, the area called Middleborough today was rural farming land. In fact, in 1801, the area had only four farmhouses. It was around the 1830s that a new industrial town and port started developing there. In 1842, ironstone deposits were discovered around the eastern hills. This changed the story of the town. The natural resources brought great prosperity to the town. So it started to mushroom massively and rapidly. Its population reached 20,000 by 1860, from being barely a hamlet 60 years earlier. At the dawn of the 20th century, the town had some 90,000 residents. Its population reached 160,000 by the 1970s. Then there seemed to be work for everyone that wanted work. If the town had continued in that trajectory, sustaining such positive developments, its story would be different from its modern day realities. But that was then, and gone are the days. The town suffered a long and slow industrial decline. Thus, many processing plants closed. This left myriads of people out of work and poverty became the dominant force in the town. These have remained the order of the day in Middleborough today. Against this backdrop, we're set to show you the realities of the modern day town of Middleborough. Before we continue, let's tell you that if anyone feels differently or believes otherwise, the comment section below is open for supportive or differing opinions. The reality of Middleborough today. Today, the formerly industrial town on the northeast coast of England often gets bad press. Many times it's been found near the top lists of worst places to live. It has also been ranked the worst place in the UK to be a girl. Though smoggies are still determined to change the bad narrative and ensure that their hometown becomes one of the best places to live and that they can be proud of. While their spirit and determination are commendable, the only positive thing we can say about this is that only time will tell what will result from such efforts. A row erupted earlier a few years ago over claims of hate crime and vandalism. That is already tilting towards the allegations of racism against the locals. Some of the locals aren't keen on welcoming an influx of people who could contribute to the development of the town. A long-time resident who works at a hot pork sandwich kiosk, in her prejudice, blamed the struggles of the town on the immigrants. She claimed that they needed to send the Asians and others out because they are getting houses before smoggies. Furthermore, statistics about other crimes, health, drug use and employment in this town are grim. While anybody could argue this to any length, the facts speak for themselves. 
Even the best images of Middleborough taken from the A19 flyover aren't able to hide its rot. Hoping to capture cooling towers and chemical plants, you could see condemned buildings and half-demolished homes in those images. The ancient hotels where residents could entertain themselves in the 19th century after the arrival of the railways and Joseph Peace that established Port Darlington are not maintained and modernised. Let's now go specifically into the discussion of crime, employment and poverty in the vile town of Middleborough. Unemployment rate in Middleborough. Reports from the Office for National Statistics, ONS, indicate that North East has the highest unemployment rates in England and Wales, and Middleborough is in this region. However, it doesn't only share or contribute to the high unemployment rate there. The rate in Middleborough is the highest in the region. Middleborough has one of the worst unemployment levels even in the United Kingdom. That's why a great number of the residents of the town are on benefit. It is not difficult to understand this. As explained earlier, many of the industries in the town have closed down, throwing their workers back into the job market. A study by the GMB, a trade union representing and protecting its members in their workplaces, based in the town, found that Nottingham had an unemployment level of 14.4%. Get that clear, please. This means that out of every 100 people of employment age, 14 don't have jobs. The union has started pressurising the government to intensify its efforts to tackle rising unemployment rates in the town. Ray Chambers, a resident of the town who is one of the long-term unemployed, said that he has been unemployed for nearly 15 years. We understand an argument put forward against this, that there are jobs for everyone if they want to work. Poverty and deprivation in Middleborough. This has increased the poverty level and the ratios of benefit claimants. The number keeps rising by the day, even among those who are not close to retirement age. What we see on the streets of the city and the comments by those in abject poverty are enough to convince anyone that poverty is really dealing with the town. However, since that is not official, the picture that'll be drawn and the impression created can be easily countered as one-sided. But something more tangible that can be relied on is the figures from the Index of Multiple Deprivation, IMD. This examines all local authority areas and smaller areas or neighbourhoods to determine the level of deprivation in each area. These are grouped as Lower Layer Super Output Areas, LSOAs. Now, Let's see what the latest IMD figures from the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government published in 2019 have to say about this town. This was based on the 217 local authority areas in England, each one giving a ranking. Middleborough's ranking is 5 in the latest ranking. This was an increase of 1 from 6 in 2015. What this means is that Middleborough is the fifth most deprived local authority area in England. It also means that it has become poorer since the 2015 IMD figures were released. There are 20 wards in this town. Between the last two rankings, 2015 and 2019, only five wards have improved their ranking by becoming less deprived. The remaining 15 have poorer rankings as they have become more deprived. Crime in Middleborough. The rate of crime in Middleborough is another cause for concern. In 2021, it reported 164 crimes per 1,000 people. That makes Middleborough the most dangerous town in North Yorkshire. Out of all 699 villages, towns and cities in North Yorkshire, it is the third most dangerous. The crime situation has grown even worse in Middleborough based on the 2022 crime rate, which remains the latest release. The overall crime rate that year was 187 crimes per 1,000 people. This is poor compared to North Yorkshire's overall crime rate of 85 per 1,000 residents. So that was 121% higher than the North Yorkshire rate. For England, Wales and Northern Ireland, Middleborough is the second most dangerous. And out of all villages, towns and cities, Middleborough is the 109th most dangerous location. 
In December 2022, the town had North Yorkshire's worst crime rate for burglary, with 163 crimes reported. Also, in that month, Middleborough was North Yorkshire's most dangerous area for criminal damage and arson, recording 353. Middleborough also witnessed 96 incidents of drug-related crime during December 2022, making it the worst for drugs in North Yorkshire that month. The most common crimes in the town are violence and sexual offences, with 12,906 of these offences during 2022. With 12,906 of these offences during 2022. Now let's face it, kindly hit the comment section to tell us what you feel about or if you'd love to contribute to this discussion. Please let this conversation continue there. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.